The crisis hasn't changed. That's what a longtime Milwaukee alderman says nearly two years after his task force made dozens of recommendations to curb reckless driving. The 35-page report was issued in June of 2020. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you a 24-year-old driver whose record of violations is two pages longer than that. If behavior has consequences. Why y'all got to, like, I'm on a chase or something. I got to catch up to you, right? 24 year old Dyrell Chaplin. Why you got to be like grabbing? I just don't want you running. Doesn't seem worried. I can't just give my name and stuff so I can hurry up the process because I really got to go. He has people to see. I got to get to my mom's because I got a funeral in the morning for my auntie. And live streams to host. Run the resin broad day, that's me. When Milwaukee politicians talk about reckless drivers, they literally have no respect for your life. For those who are engaged in reckless driving, beware. We will do something. They might as well call him by name. Chaplain? Yeah. In the last three years alone, police in southeast Wisconsin have stopped him 35 times. He's doing 66 miles per hour, stealing it on the viaduct is 30. That's right. 35 times in just three years. You got the worst driving record I've ever seen. From blowing red lights to rolling through stop signs, cutting off traffic and speeding. Lots and lots of speeding. I'm in a red. All of it with no plates, no registration, no insurance, and no license. You don't have no idea you have them? No. Got driver's license on you? No. No driver's license? But I'll tell you my name's are pretty Oh, you don't got your ID on you? Uh-uh. Yet every time police stop him. For real, you take over the speed, man, okay? They let him drive away. I mean, you just let him go to continue violating the law. One officer even left him with this. Do me for you slow down, right? In case you missed it, that was a fist bump. It's so disrespectful to everybody that has lost someone because of someone like that driving like that. For Tristan Thomas, that someone was his sister. It's been extremely, extremely hard. Police say the man who caused the crash that killed Dwinetta Thomas last month had been driving with a revoked license for five years. So you can imagine what he thinks. My blood was boiling. Of drivers so enamored with their own reckless behavior, they record it. You really have no regard for anybody else's life, much less your own. Y'all know the going on. We on center with you now. You're out here thinking you're cool and you're really not. Something needs to be done about this because we can't wait any longer. Mabel's right. Folks are just plain fed up. Last year, under mounting public pressure, Milwaukee police launched the Traffic Safety Unit, or TSU, and put Captain Jeffrey Sun in charge. This has got to be a full-scale approach to everything. Between March 1st and August 31st last year, TSU officers wrote more than 15,000 speeding tickets. That's four times the same period in 2020 and triple that of 2019, before the pandemic. But Milwaukee Alderman Michael Murphy says tickets alone won't cut it with repeat offenders. Take those tickets, look at them, throw them in the back seat of the car. Thanks very much, they drive off. That's exactly what happens. Chaplin has racked up more than $9,000 in fines from 73 municipal tickets. I always got paper on. Almost all of which remain unpaid. It has moved to a whole different level of uh, disrespect. Tyrone Dumas wants the city to send a stronger message. What's wrong with lowering the boom? The county's former director of public works spent 10 years helping young drivers get suspended licenses reinstated. But with the recent surge in reckless behavior, his tone has changed. One of my friends told me, he said, man, in your old age, you done got mean. Consider what happened last summer. I was on 50. Yeah, it's been a minute, it's on, on 30. When police and sheriff's deputies stopped Chaplin eight times in 33 days. I ain't, I ain't running the stop sign. Dude, it's I on yield. Camera, my guy. I yield. I'm not here to mess with you, bro. Every time. Stopped as a white four door Infinity. He was driving the same car, a white Infinity G37. Infinity and beyond. I bet you if you don't have your car for 30 days, you'll think about the fact that. Ooh, there's a consequence. In October, Dumas emailed his old pal, Jeffrey Norman, the city's new chief of police. He responded. He suggested officers crack down on reckless drivers by taking their cars. And it was one of those, oh yeah, that makes total sense. Police listened.
The chair votes aye. The Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission approved a change in policy. Now we have the option to tow the vehicle. Starting May 1st, officers will be able to tow a reckless driver's car if the vehicle is unregistered and the driver was stopped for endangering public safety, exceeding the speed limit by 25 miles per hour, fleeing from police or racing. Let's do something. I think this is just the start. I think this is a, a good step. Thomas is concerned that policy is too limited. It's a small step. We do not want officers waiting for tows for hours on end. And Captain Sun says officers will still have discretion. I'm not worried about the plates or insurance or nothing. The officer does have an option, but most officers are going to tow this individual. One member of the Fire and Police Commission warns the new tow policy will have a disparate impact on poor drivers. That's also why I disagree that this is the next step. She was outvoted five to one. Why am I supposed to bleed my heart for you when you were willing to put other people in danger? Danger is written all over Dyrell Chaplin's driving record. 37 pages, man. The question is what it will take to change his behavior before the consequences are irreversible. The police department's new towing policy for reckless drivers takes effect this Sunday. But while Tyrone Dumas was hoping their cars would be taken for 30 days, the police department says there is no time frame set on that policy. In theory, Captain Sun says they could come right here to the city tow lot the same day to get their cars back out. However, the Department of Public Works says those reckless drivers will have to pay for towing and storage, and they'll have to get their cars properly registered before they can get them out. In Milwaukee, Brian Polson. Fox 6 investigators. Brian, thank you. So if you're wondering how we identified this driver as one of Milwaukee's most egregious, reckless drivers, check out our open record podcast tomorrow. Brian will explain just how we found him and how many others there are like him. You can find open record wherever you download your favorite podcast or go to fox6now.com and there click on news and scroll to podcasts. To say it's maddening doesn't even begin to cover it. It is so irresponsible. You, you watch that and you're just, you at home, I'm sure you're oh. just angry. I mean, there's like yeah. a flippancy to it, like, so. Let's see how this policy works. Yeah, exactly. Well.